What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review, this time of episode 63. This is a really good episode centered around Ash, uh, which means that it's going to be something story related. Last week's episode wasn't story related about Team Rocket's Meowth. It was pretty disappointing. This week's episode definitely made up for it. And I think our next episode is also going to be really good. So if you check this out, make sure that you let me know your favorite part in the comments down below. And let me know if you have any different thoughts or um, anything that I might miss during this review. Now, as we said, this is centered around Ash. So we know there's gonna be something story related, but it starts off with the Masked Royale at the Battle Royale. So if you're thinking about the video games, at first you might be thinking, oh, that's that's really lame, that doesn't sound fun. But Masked Royale's partner is Incineroar. And we see that they have won 19 straight Battle Royales and they're going for their 20th straight. And at home, Ash is watching this on TV, and Litten sits up and walks up to the TV is, and is very, very interested in what's going on on the TV. He sees his fully evolved state on the TV, and he's really interested in it. And the intro rose rolls right away. There was nothing else to it. So we knew, what, we knew they were getting into it. As we said, this episode was titled Burn With Passion, Litten, Down With Incineroar. So, at home, Ronum is introducing all the final evolutions of the starters since that's who's participating in this battle royale on TV. You have Incineroar, Decidueye, Primarina, and a Machamp for some reason. I'm not, I guess when you think battle royale, that kind of fits in. Uh, but everyone is targeting Incineroar because he's 119 straight. Why would you not target him? But they're not doing any damage to him. Now, let's stop and think about this. We know that the Masked Royale or whatever his name is. We're gonna call him the, Ras the Masked Royale. Um, we know that in the games, at least, he is Kukui. But here in the anime, we've only seen that Kukui has a Braviary. So are they gonna try and say that he also started with a Litten way back when and Incineroar is his partner? Well, hold that thought. As everyone is attacking Incineroar, none of their attacks are doing anything. He fires off his Z move, his malacious moonsault, and Oko's everyone he doesn't just take out one person no 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 he takes out all three of his opponents in one shot it was an incredible animation and of course he's the best starter so i mean what what more do you do you want to say now burnett arrives at home where ash is watching this and asks where kukui is where, where's kukui at and is anybody seeing kukui and says that she loves the masked royale well, we can't quite confirm it just yet, but let's almost confirm Kukui is definitely the Master Royale. Now, on the TV after he finishes the battle, the Master Royale says, Tomorrow, trainers, viewers, you will have a chance to battle me. So the next day, Ash arrives at the battle, at the Royal Dome, where he's going to be participating or be viewing this event that's going on. And all of the other kids from the class are already there. So ever, at first, I was thinking maybe it was just Ash by himself. Maybe that'd be cool. But all of his classmates were there. We can't leave the classmates out. We do see that Team Rocket is trying to sell donuts, not doing such a good job. Uh, but one of the workers of the Royal Dome is outside yelling, calling, can anybody be the MC? Can anybody be the MC? Business must just be great for the, for the Battle Dome. Um, but anyway, Team Rocket goes ahead, go ahead, goes ahead and volunteers to be the MC. Now inside, we see all of the kids sitting down and we see that Sophocles is a fanboy. He's got his royal mask or his mask royale in in the dub they call it royal mask in our game i don't i don't even know but he's got his mask on and so he's a little fanboy on the stage team rocket introduces the royal the masked royale whose entrance is super extra and then asks who wants to battle them and of course everyone in the gym wants to battle uh, but they then introduce incineroar and he's amazing he's by far the best starter i don't want to hear any debates you can you know i told you to leave any different thoughts that you have if you think there's a different starter that's better than incineroar you're just wrong and watch this episode to find out why 
but Litton decides that he's gonna jump on people's heads and gets up to the stage where he's looking up at Incineroar, just in either in awe or maybe he wants to challenge him. But Ash comes down and is apologizing to everyone saying, oh, I'm so sorry, Litton, come on, we're not supposed to be up here, let's go back. And Litton just again looks over at Ash and then looks back up at Incineroar and just has no interest in moving. The Master Royale leans down and, and says to Litton, you know, what's wrong? And Litton recognizes the sense of this. At that point, we can confirm it's definitely Kukui. But obviously, Litton can't say anything to anybody, so they just don't. And the Master Royale says, hey, Ash, since Litton wants to battle, you can be the first round. And asks if he has any friends. He sure does. And Kiawe, Sophocles come to join him. Kiawe is using Marowak, Sophocles is using Chargebug for whatever reason. Uh, both of, neither of these are going to do very well against an Incineroar. Team Rocket winds up being the judges of this and Meowth seems to have learned a whole lot about the, the Battle Royale and in a very short amount of time he explains all of the rules to everyone. Now this four way battle starts off with everyone again attacking Incineroar and him knocking them all off. He then decides to use Darkest Lariat and sends everyone flying except Litten who lands in the stage and is very visibly upset. You know, Ash is very impressed with this Incineroar. He's not taking it super seriously and that actually winds up upsetting, uh, winds up upsetting Litten. And they decide, okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and take this seriously. So both Ash and the Master Royale decide, okay, we're actually gonna go ahead and take this battle seriously. Where the, the crowd begins to cheer for Litten, Litten's getting pumped up, and Incineroar uses bulk up and gets visibly bigger. And it, it's, it's, it's not a very pretty scene. Launching at Incineroar with the Fire Fang, Litten gets grabbed mid-air. And the Master Royale is standing there like, why? Why do you want, why did you want us to go all out? Are you trying to evolve by fighting against stronger opponents? Incineroar throws him up and smacks him with the throat chop, sending Litten flying in what I thought was potentially Litten's last scene in Pokemon. Because it looked like he should have died. Like, this looked like Jiren versus Vegeta level of, like, just absolutely got destroyed. In fact, a commercial ran right at that point. When it came back, the battle was over. Everybody was sitting outside the dome. Litten was curled up with his head down. Everyone was sitting around him. We even see Team Rocket off to the side where a fellow cat, Meowth, is cheering on Litten saying, you can do it, Litten. Don't give up, Litten. Later that night, Litten is out practicing by himself. He's using moves and just practicing out on the beach out by Kukui's. And Ash comes up and say, hey, let's challenge Incineroar again. Lycanroc comes up and starts making these moves like when Ro Rockruff went to learn Rock Throw. It's a very similar thing going on. Litten wants to learn Flame Charge. He wants to learn a new move. So the four of them, that's Lycanroc, Ash, Pikachu, and Litten, decide to, they, they start practicing and you can see them, they go through the intro song or the original intro song and they're all dancing. You see them shaking their booties, you see them moving around and trying to get these motions of the flame charge down. They're demonstrating it at school. Um, we do see that Litten is getting better where he's starting to spark some flames when he's using these moves. And they all collapse and decide one more time, one more time, Litten versus Lycanroc and they try to use Flame Charge, and he gets a little bit of heat, but it's still not quite it. Now, while they're training the next morning, because their training went all night, the Mass Royale shows up with Incineroar, says that he was out jogging, and just stopped to see if maybe they would want to battle. And Incineroar challenges Litten to another battle. So they start fighting, and it starts with the same type of thing, um, where, they, where Litten gets knocked down by a throat chop. Litten attempts a flame charge and gets knocked back by a cross chop this time. The second time is a little more successful, but he does wind up again getting grabbed by Incineroar. And this is where things get wild. The Mass Royale says, you still have a lot of work to do. And Ash goes, I know I do. I know I have a lot of work to do, but me and my Pokemon are all going to get strong. And I'm telling you, he was probably thinking about Kalos 
because this this team that he's building is actually going to be really strong assuming that they all evolve and he adds a couple more pieces but it seems like exactly what happened in Kalos his team here I don't know it could get a little interesting and also hold that thought we're going to come back to his team towards the end of this review after Ash finishes reflecting, he tells Litten, don't give up, we're gonna win this battle. And he goes, ah, he starts yelling, almost goes Super Saiyan. And Litten explodes in flames and gets, gets freed from Incineroar's grasp and lands in flames. And this is where he evolves. Litten evolves into Tauric Cat. We predicted it last week. We didn't know for sure, but we knew it was coming eventually. It's happened. Ash's Litten has evolved into a Tora Cat. Now from here, he does start using Flame Charge and you can see that he can actually use the move. And Flame Charge versus Darkest Lariat winds up clashing off of each other. And they do that a couple times, they do that a couple times. And then, say so let's go for one more right after Incineroar actually gets damaged by one of these Flame Charges. It says, Incineroar, use bulk up. And he bulks up again. He gets his nice little nice little buff going. One final throw chop to one final flame charge revolt results in Toracat fainting, where Incineroar wins. And the Master Royale comes up and says, Nice job. That's why you're my partner. So apparently Kukui we know has two Pokemon now. He's got himself a Braviary and he's got himself an Incineroar. Are we gonna see those at any other point outside of when he has the Mass Royale? Because even at his wedding, we didn't see this Incineroar. So it, with it, they, they have a lot that they could do. Now, as they're wrapping up, Torcat stands up, and even though he's extremely injured, he looks up at Incineroar and says that they're gonna be rivals and they're gonna fight, which leads me to believe that this isn't this Pokemon's only evolution that it will experience. I do think that Ash's Torcat will eventually evolve into an Incineroar, and we'll see what kind of what kind of things they can do with the two of those together. I think they have they have a lot of chance there. Now that night, Burnett claims that Ash was lucky to meet the Mass Royale, and that she wishes she could meet he, she could meet him, and then says, "Kukui, don't you think so also?" And Kukui's like, "Oh, um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah," and Torcat's sitting there like, "Really." Really, people? You couldn't figure it out? And that's the end. Now, the cool part was the outro already had Cat artwork in it. And I know, you know, for a company like Pokemon, they should be able to do that. But I'm pretty sure it was the same outro, and I could be mistaken, as the last episode. But every single time that Litten was shown in the last one, Cat was already shown in this one. It was really cool. So that was this episode. Looking forward to next week. It's a Passimian episode. We see it's completely centered around Passimian and a game of football. And it looks like Passimian and Ash like almost switch spots um, or some type of, they can communicate really well. It was all over the place. I think this next episode is gonna be really big. I think that Passimian has a, has a spot on Ash's team. When we think about Ash's team, I'm going to do something I don't normally do during these uh, during these reviews. I'm going to look something up right now, mid-review. All right, let's look at Ash's team. Let's look at his fighting types. So Ash's fighting types, he has Heracross. He has Infernape. And he has Halucha. And he has Scraggy, excuse me, almost forgot. Um, from what I see here, of course he had Primeape. From what I see here, that's it. He really doesn't have all that many fighting types. I do think that Passimian could have a spot on his team. Let me know what you think about that and let me know what you think about the rest of the review. Also, let me know what you think about this layout change. Um, Something was bugging me about the past many, many reviews. I want to see if you can see what it is. If you notice it, let me know in the comments down below. And once again, let me know what you thought about it. We will see you for the next review. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.